hi and hello to all of you on my OERT uh, online electrical engineering review and tutorial channel so today we will discuss or to have a tutorial on how you will play your vintage uh, games on your PS1 to your PSP and then to your vintage TV as you can see there my PS1 but I did not activate that it is here on my PSP and we will have a tutorial about that uh, in a little while so again to those who do not do not subscribe yet on my channel you can do so and we will play some games on my PSP like this nostalgia as you can see on the music and uh, we will uh, teach you on how to do this uh, we can have uh, two tests here we can test it on a uh, fl uh, fl uh, CRT TV like this and on a flat screen TV so see you on our next new uh, few videos hi and hello again so this is what you need in order to play your PSP to your CRT or flat TV so this is uh, what they called a uh, composite DK AV, D AV cable so you have here the uh, video the audio for stereo okay the white and the red ones that you will uh, connect Okay, to your uh, to, to the AV output of your cable of your TV and then this is a B connector type okay as you can see here okay that you will uh, connect here at the uh, at the uh, back of your PSP and then this is your AV here and AV cable and then your PSP of course your PSP okay must be uh, soft modded okay on my uh, uh, on my uh, PSP here sorry <laughs> I, I thought this is a screen touch or touch screen so as you can see in the system information okay uh, it is a uh, modded no at 6.20 so this uh, model is a PSP 3000 model and I bought it 2010 if I'm not mistaken for 11,000 pesos okay let's see uh, how we will deal with this on the next few videos thank you so before we go to the uh, connections so we need to know okay the uh, settings first so in order to see the uh, uh, connection of your video cables from your PSP so go to the leftmost part okay here and then scroll down and you will see here connected display settings so what you will do is to press X and then uh, we have the following here if you want to switch video output so you can do manually here or you can press this window uh, button here for five seconds and then it will automatically go to your uh, TV or CRT TV but you need to connect first of course the D cable here okay next you have a TV type the TV type here is a 16 by 9 or a 4 by 3 I usually use the 16 by 9 okay so it will depend on the screen if that is a CRT or a uh, or a flat screen or a, the uh, TV that is common uh, nowadays so LED or LCD but I usually use the 16 by 9 the 4 by 3 is for the CRT type and then we have the component terminal output here so we have two uh, settings here the interlace means that it takes two frames and it fits it on a one frame and the progressive here shows each frame individually resulting in a more clear video so interlacing 
will perform a screen refresh by refreshing the lines in a sequence that alternates. And thus, no, it takes two passes to refresh a screen view. A progressive scan will perform a screen refresh in one action. And from there, uh, from that definition, so it means that interlacing one example here is for the uh, camcorders. Okay, if you see a 1080i, uh, so that it means an interlace. And 1080p, it means progressive. A uh, sample of this is uh, your CRT TVs, your computer monitors, T, uh, your LED TV. So I use progressive here. Okay, so just press X. And then screen saver if you want to, 10 minutes, but I uh, usually use that default. And I also uh, on the flicker reduction so so that it can reduce on screens the display if you have an interlace format. Okay, so let's connect this PSP to our TV. Hi and hello to all of you again. So we will now uh, uh, connect the PSP to your your TV here. So all you have to do is first turn on the TV first, but you need to connect the AV cable on your uh, audio video. I connect it audio uh, audio video of the output of your TV. I connect it at the back, so not on the front. So I need to turn on my television and set it to the AV. Okay, it's red in AV. And next, you need to connect the uh, D connector here the composite cable okay and then turn on your PSP okay hopefully you can see okay if this is the first time that you own your PSP so do you want to connect your output on a connected device so left and X say yes so now it will be connected okay or in some circumstances uh, for example uh, this is your uh, uh, PSP then you turn it off okay I turn it on you want to uh, connect your uh, uh, your PSP to the uh, AV, uh, AV, uh, on your AV of your TV so I connect it but it is not automatically it will be automatically if that is you uh, if you uh, uh, start your PSP but in here you can press the uh, window button here by five seconds then it will it will you can see the uh, uh, transfer screen and then your PSP doesn't have any uh, uh, video here but it is already connected to the TV okay and then I click left and then go to the games here so we will have a separate video for the games sorry for the loading times so I can have a uh, uh, my games here so I can have time lapse if there is some uh, slow loading so these are my games so definitely if you want nostalgia and more vintage we can take on Dino Crisis here and then you can now play yeah see so you do not need to have uh, your uh, PS1 and then you have Japanese um, uh, uh, NTSJ uh, uh, games and then you cannot understand the language so you can try this as an alternative right so I already have my load game and then viola okay so it is done so let us check this one in a LED TV see you oh yeah okay 
Hi and hello to all of you. So let's see on the uh, LED TV here, LCD TV, LCD TV using my uh, Sony Bravia. So we will now connect you know, the connector here. Okay. Then after you connect, so you have here the display button, window button. Press it to five seconds. Then now you will be transferred to the TV. Okay, so you can see the major difference between a CRT and LED TV is, okay, I will refresh this one as you can see, um, the, uh, uh, the screen does not fill the whole LED TV. So, go to the memory stick here for our games. And then we can have the Dino Crisis again. But uh, uh, one thing that I uh, uh, observe here is the screen all, always refresh from the whole TV, the, uh, 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 the video setting becomes, it will shrink, it will refresh, so something like that. So it is not the same thing with the CRT TV wherein it is already fixed. So again, uh, I uh, I can recommend the, uh, to have a good uh, video setting. As you can see on the background here, the word Dino Crisis. So it uh, it's not on the uh, proper aspect ratio, unlike the uh, CRT monitor. But you can still uh, play the game. So I think that will be enough for this uh, tutorial. Hope you uh, learned some things and see you again on our channel. God bless and stay safe po sa ating lahat. Maraming salamat po.